good things here recently and there was a call about a guy saying he felt that we were supposed to have a use their building for a church that they have. He called and the price he gave us was they went down actually which it would go back up to the original price, but the price he gave us went down by fifty percent of what and that was all the utilities. So uh, everyone pray for that. Pray for God's will to be done. Well, that would be a good start off. But if God has something else, I'm not in any hurry. But they, uh, it's good to find out things before ahead of time. You know, that's the way God does it. And uh, so pray about that. And anyone that's watching, if you felt led to be like a partner, and you can't come out, but you felt led to be a partner and watching and listening, Everything goes to the ministry. Like $10 a month, if there's like 200 people that escape $10 a month, that would be enough to get that bill. And just a little bit of, you know, from a family, uh, each family. And I believe in sowing seed because we sow seed. We're going to sow seed at a church in California, and we automatically, before the poll, here's a testimony. Before the um, mail lady, I assume it's the lady that picks up the mail, before she picked it up, God doubled what we sent to that church. Amen. Before she picked it up, we got back double. Amen. So we're going to sow some more seed in that church. Amen. <laughs> that's that's not a lie. That morning before, you know, she I don't know, she even got in the area to pick up the mail. God doubled it. So that's a testimony there. God put it on my heart to send it to help out. How bad it's a revival. I'm not going to say how much or where I was. We don't want to lose our blessing, but it's a revival culture, ministry, and church. So that was just exciting news. So we're going to give our way into a new building. <laughs> so we're going to give our way into a new building. So I think God is going to open up a lot of doors. We just need to be faithful. And the devil's really working overtime and a lot of different things. But he's scared, and God has a good breakthrough for us. I really feel that, and it's a huge. Uh, we're reaching a lot of people through the over-the-air television, and I sent some more DVDs to Pakistan and uh, India. And we're reaching a lot. Egypt is the number one country. It's been there for over a year. Been like that for over a year. That goes to the website. Amen. Number one, I printed it out. So you, you've seen Elder Scott and Elder Charles that it wasn't. That's not a lie. That's right. And. Uh, for over a year, it's been the number one country. So we're really, we're having a huge influence in uh, things. And we're going to reap it, the reap that harvest. Like the prophecy that they sent from Bethel that God confirmed it, we're going to sow it and reap it. And uh, touch you my heart so much. I've got to get a mic and share this. I can't go ahead. That. Oh, the anointing so strong. Father, for those listening, I know I'm going to sound just like every TV evangelist, but God's working here. We're touching lives. This ministry is just going to be incredible. And if you could sow that seed, I know I sound just like everyone I'm on TV, but God is telling me to say this, that you've got to sow this seed and He will bless you. This ministry needs to have its own building. We need to take that next step. God wants us to do that. But we don't have the finances right now to do it. But God's saying, if you all would step up and share some seed money with us to get this ministry started, we're going to be reaching lives. We're going to be touching people, bringing people to Christ. Amen. This is heavy on our hearts. We are committed to doing these things. Yes. And please, anything you could send in, and Pastor will give you the P.O. box. You can write it off on your taxes. But God hit my heart and said, we've got to put the message out that we are so committed to helping others. 
and if you've gotten anything out of our ministry, if you could send, you know, a dollar to help us get this building going. And we really need partners through the internet who can help support us and keep this ministry going. We have invested so much money in the equipment to bring this to you. If you could share this, share a little bit back with us and keep that coming to be our partners, to keep us on the air, on the internet, to bring us that building so that we can bring in a local flock. But God's really hit my heart that he told me that you will receive such blessings if you but share and sow that seed with us. And I didn't really want to give this message because I hear this every time I talk, see an evangelist on TV. But God hit my heart so hard. And I'm, I, this is out of the order of our service. But God said, I had to get the message out. Please help us. Thank you and God bless you. I appreciate you sharing that. I really didn't want to share that. People will hear me, me being the head. They're just like, oh, they don't want to hear it, you know. And uh, I really appreciate that because everything, like I said, it goes out to the ministry. I take care of the books personally. And I'm a smith, so I'm really pinchy on the money. You know, you know anything about the smiths. <laughs> um, I'm not running that down at all. It's a good thing. And uh, Amen. everything, we make sure we get the best deals on everything. That's how we get all this stuff. As I, We search and search and search and search and search. And the, the mailing address is uh, Revivalist Here Church, P.O. Box 243, Bedford, Kentucky, 40006. You can get it at donate.revivalisthere.org. We've had a huge anointing on this church.